Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? You know, in the sport of boxing, when it comes to the media, they are often easily sucked in or pulled in when it comes to believing when they see a good victory from a particular fighter that all is forgiven. And now, all of a sudden, they start believing psychologically that this guy is better than before and maybe because perhaps they may want to see him be successful, they start believing that, you know, now this guy, he can right his wrong. Now he has a better chance against someone like Andre Ward, right? This is what I'm seeing. This is the exact situation that I'm seeing when it comes to Carl Froch, all right? You know, um, when I first seen this article that I was put out, I guess, a day ago or something like that, I immediately said, you know, I got to go ahead and drop a video, especially since I didn't do a, a post-fight vid on the um, Froch kessler fight. Let me go ahead and talk about all of these, you know, continuous uh, articles that Carl Froch have been coming out with, you know, trying to bash Ward, you know, as, as often as he can. But the article I'm talking about specifically right now is um, an article that was done on Boxing Scene where there was an article that was titled, Carl Froch, not Ward, holds all the cards, right? So this is what prompted me to go ahead and make a video about this, right? Now, the first thing I want to say about this article is there have been certain articles that I've read that have actually irritated me, got under my skin a little bit, and, you know, I wanted to make a video about it, et cetera, et cetera. This one in particular, it doesn't really bother me as far as getting under my skin or, you know, in, in a certain way to me, it's comical. It's comical that someone will say something like that. And once again, this is the media, you know, the box of media that is just believing the hype that believes that now, you know, Carl Froch, all of a sudden, he's new and improved. And you know what? They think he has a chance of now beating uh, Andre Ward. I mean, this has happened many times in the sport of boxing. You know, they see, like, I remember when, when Oscar De La Hoya, when he knocked out Ricardo Mayorga, everyone was saying, man, this is the vintage Oscar. This is the, this is the old Oscar, the one that was, you know, knocking out people. It was an impressive victory. His, his very next fight, he lost to Oscar De La Hoya. Then those same people said, oh, Oscar was old. You know, I mean, it, it happens like this all the time. You know, uh, what's his name? Nonito Donaire. He can come back in his next fight. He can knock some bum out. And everyone is going to say, oh, he, he has a chance to beat Rigo now. They, they'll, they'll do it. They'll do it. Manny Pacquiao, you know, who's about to fight Brandon Rios, a fight I can't wait to watch. You know, if he knocks out Brandon Rios in, an, in a fucking impressive fashion, I can guarantee you, all will be forgiven when it comes to what people thought about Pacquiao being knocked out. This is just the way it is, you know. And, and, and you know, the media, they lead the charge when it comes to believing that all is completely forgiven. And this dude is new and improved or maybe he's just as good as he was, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So, let me, okay, let me get back to this article before I, you know, jump into too many different topics. Now, what's so funny about this article is he's saying the guy who the writer is saying that Carl Froch holds all the cards now last time I checked wasn't it Andre Ward who beat Carl Froch relatively easy I mean understand something guys this wasn't Delahoya Corte this wasn't Mosley Delahoya 2 you know this wasn't Barrera Morales. This was, you know, this was more like Mayweather Guerrero. This was more like Rigo Donaire. It was a very decisive, clear, clear you know, clear-cut victory for Mr. Andre Ward, right? So the whole thing is when they say that Froch holds all the cards, it's ridiculous because the fact of the matter is if if Carl Froch doesn't get a rematch with Andre Ward, who does that benefit more? It's going to benefit Andre Ward because he's the one that shows a clear-cut you know, victory over Froch when it comes to looking at the, the history books. And, and this is the reason why you have a lot of fighters out there who win close decisions 
And then when asked if they want a rematch, a lot of them, you know, they, they dance around the question like, oh, we got to see and I don't know. And there's other fights out there I'm interested in because they're happy that they already have the victory on their record. So, I mean, it's, it's only common sense that, you know, it's Carl Frost that needs uh, Andre Ward. Andre Ward, he don't even really need the rematch. You know, he, he doesn't really even need the rematch. You got Carl Frost going on this tirade talking about if Ward wants me, he better come to the U.K. There's no way the rematch is going to be in the U.S. I mean, when you lose and get your ass whooped by someone, you do whatever it takes to get that person back in the ring so that you can show everyone that you are better than him. You don't get your ass whooped by someone and then say, oh, there ain't no way I'm going to fight you over here. There ain't no way I'm going to, you know, either you take it or leave it, buddy. I mean, how the fuck you telling somebody to take it or leave it when you, you got everything to lose? You got everything to lose. Andre Ward, he beat you. A, if, he, if he beat you in a rematch, he beat you already. So who cares? Right? I mean, if Carl Frotch now if Carl Frotch wins, now that would be big because then you got a rubber match. Then you got you know then you got a question you know if if Andre Ward really is pound for pound number one, number two, or whatever, right? Which realistically, Frotch ain't gonna never beat Andre Ward. He just ain't. And 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 it's funny because when you go back to you know post fight interviews right after Frotch lost to Ward. This man, Carl Frotch, he was almost in, in awe of what Ward did to him. You know, I mean, he broke it down, you know, so he was so defined in breaking it down of, you know, what made Andre Ward such a difficult opponent. You know, he broke it down real thoroughly. So, um, and, 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 and after that, Carl Frotch, he, he, he uh, made little statements and articles where he made it sound as if he had no interest in a rematch, okay? So, realistically, I wouldn't be surprised if, if this rematch is kind of getting a little forced on Carl Frotch, and really, Carl Frotch may not even want the rematch. I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, if I was Frotch, I wouldn't want to fight Andre Ward a second time because then it confirms that the first fight wasn't, you know, just a fluke, which, if you know anything about boxing, you already know it wasn't a fluke. Right, so then you got, like I said, you got um, Frotch making all these silly ass fucking um, offensive comments towards Ward. You know, like the last comment he made, he said something about you know uh, Ward being boring to death, and he could, you know, he could put a glass eye to sleep and all of this. Right now, see, if I was Andre Ward, I would have responded to that shit. I would have said, "Oh, so is that what you tell your kids and your wife when they ask why you got your ass whooped by Andre Ward?" You tell him, oh, oh, it's just because, you know, I was, get, I was getting bored. When he was popping me in my motherfucking face, I was just getting more and more bored every time he popped me in my damn face. Is that what you tell him? Because you know good and damn well, that don't explain why you got your ass whooped and you, and you lost easy, right? You know, it, it, I, I think it's, it's, it's nothing that bothers me more or irritates me more than hearing a boxer talk like a casual fan. You know, because 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 Carl Frosch, he know better than that. I mean, it's typical to hear a dumbass casual fan say some shit like that. But you don't expect that from an intelligent professional boxer, right? You know, all that, oh, you know, well, at least you're boring and all that. I mean, we know a typical boxer fan will say something like that. Because a lot of times, that guy's favorite fighter is, is, is often losing, right? Most of the time. So once he realizes his fighter is not the best, he tries to change the rules and basically make it seem like it's more important to, uh, you know, be exciting and lose than it is to be, to be the best fighter in the world and win. You know, they have to change the rules because the rules that, that, they, that they were going off of before, it wasn't working for them. Their guy was losing, okay? So they have to try to make themselves feel better, you know, and, and soothe the pain. But, you know, the bottom line is I just wanted to get a couple quick thoughts off this Carl Frost situation. You know, it doesn't matter to me if this fight happens or not because it's going to be the same fucking fight the first one was. It'll be no different. You know, maybe maybe uh, War will come closer to knocking uh, Frost out, but that's about it. As far as I'm concerned, this fight would be like what we thought, you know, another a third Marquez fight was. You know, a third Marquez Pacquiao fight was. Excuse me, guys. 
But um, yeah, it's it's epidemic, basically. So I don't I don't really care if there's a rematch or not. I like to see Andre Ward fight against Julio Cesar Chavez, but I know that's not going to happen. Or I would like to see Golovkin clean up the middleweight division. What would be real nice if Golovkin would go in there and get that fight with with Sergio Martinez. Because I know he will knock out Sergio Martinez. Either get a fight with Martinez or Peter Quillen. I, I think he'll beat Peter Quillen too. And then beat those guys. And then jump up to 168. Then you got yourself a real good fight. Right? Andre Ward versus Gennady Golovkin. Right? So, um, yeah, man. That's uh, my quick thoughts on this one. Um, I'll catch up with you guys. I'm on to the next one.